effective chip control is the most important factor in indexable insert drilling operations and is essential for quality hole making. Poor chip evacuation can result in poor surface finish and lead to tool breakage and damaged components. In this film, we will examine short and long chipping materials to see how chip control can best be achieved and lead to more efficient drilling. Maintaining chip control in indexable insert drilling means promoting smooth chip evacuation through the chip flute. Chip formation varies depending on the workpiece material. Indexable insert drilling produces chips from the central and peripheral inserts. A much larger volume is generated at the periphery, but both chip types must be able to evacuate through the chip flute. Central insert chips are shorter and either spiral or cone-shaped, depending on the feed rate. Lower feed rates will produce spiral-shaped chips, which can vary in size, but as long as they are smooth and flexible, they will fit the chip flute and evacuate properly. Higher feed rates will produce small cone-shaped chips, which evacuate easily. Peripheral insert chips are typically cone-shaped rolled loosely or tightly depending on the feed rate. These chips evacuate easily and are highly unlikely to cause problems. Undesired chip formations may resemble crushed spirals that can create problems. Try adjusting the feed rate to produce either spirals or cones. This will promote better chip evacuation. Workpiece materials such as low carbon steel and stainless steel will typically form longer chips. With these materials, cutting speed has an even greater impact on chip formation. At low feed rates, central insert chips will resemble typical short chipping materials. However, with increased feed, small cones will not form and the central chips will remain stiff and not break often enough. To produce the flexible spirals that can evacuate easily, increase the cutting speed or reduce the feed rate. The peripheral insert chips will look quite different compared to short chipping materials. Rather than cone shapes, the chips will resemble a wave pattern. When the waves are rather short, shaped by a maximum of about 10 waves, they will be small enough and flexible enough to sit in the flutes and evacuate properly. Lower cutting speeds will increase the number of waves and the stiffness of the chips. This creates a problem as these chips can wrap around the tool upon exit, which will hinder further chip evacuation and can lead to tool breakage and component damage. To avoid producing peripheral chips that are too long, try increasing the cutting speed or reducing the feed rate. To learn more, visit the Sandvik Coromant website. Found this video useful? Please share, like, and don't forget to subscribe.